Good morning all, camelbacktrading.org coming, coming to you this Wednesday morning, April 27th. We're looking at window traders market profile. Spy IWM and triple Q's, a lot going on. Now, first things, let's put into context and perspective. A lot of emotional trading we saw last night. Spies overnight, talk about even numbers. 421 on the nose is the overnight high. 413 is the overnight low. $8 range. Just because we came out of balance on the monthly in the overnight does not, does not mean it will happen in regular trading hours. Keep that in mind, okay? <clears throat> I will not count that. Now, Russell and Q's in regular trading hours yesterday, late in the day, both took out their balance, their yearly lows. But again, we're not going to determine until probably Friday's close what the monthly will look at. Now, the weekly... And certainly the daily might be a little oversold, right? In the shorter terms, shorter time frames. Monthly certainly isn't. Keep that in mind. If we get acceptance below these monthly balances, things could get very interesting. Okay? These rallies might be very vicious with short covering. But right now, the bottom line is this. Sellers are in control, right? Balance rules definitely take effect. So we'll see how we uh, act at the bottom of these balances. But for now, um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, every rally so far has been sold. Every rally has been basically just a short covering rally. Uh, we all went out with price probes. Uh, Spy and Russell went out with triple distributions. Triple uh, Q's went out with just a double distribution. Uh, we have Facebook earnings tonight. And then you, get, um, you have uh, Amazon and Apple tomorrow night. We have the Fed next week. But as far as trading for today, there's still 75 minutes to go right now. We're attempting, attempting to take back the price probe, as you can see. So we're all around either L's low or above it. So we're attempting to take back the price probe. The next step was to take back the first set of single prints and get into the middle distribution. Now, we did that earlier in the pre-market. As you can see, we got up to 421. And now we're back down to around the 418 level. You're going to have tremendous, tremendous uh, movement inside this market. I would have tight stops and I would play with smaller size. If you open up inside the middle distribution, at least you'll have unchanged value to start the day. If we open below the price probe, you're going to have lower value to start the day. If you do open below the price probe, I'll be looking for shorts in the next 75 minutes. Because then I would see if we are going to go and get the weekly and monthly low in SPY, right? We have not taken out. We have not taken out our yearly low like the other two did. So any acceptance below L's low or M's low, good chance we are going to at least test the bottom of our balance and see if we make um, a new monthly low. Now, our yearly low is all the way down at 410 and change. So we haven't come close to it, right? Big difference between these two. Plus, these two are in bear market territory. SPY's got to get to 384 to be down 20% from its highs. So there's definitely some differences. As far as longs, again, if we open inside the middle distribution, I guess you could take a long against eyes low and value low. Any acceptance below that, I'm out because nothing's really changed there. Be a fluid situation, right? Being in my voice trading room will keep you up to date on what we're looking at. Uh, all day long while this profile is being live streamed. And then on the chart, so here's SPY, right? We didn't even take out last month's low yet in regular trade now. It's right now we're $3 above it. And our yearly low isn't until Jan uh, February's low, 410.64. So believe it or not, SPY still has an inside month with three days to go. So we're going to see if that holds or not. The weekly is certainly down, testing the bottom of the balance. And the daily is firmly down. Okay? Now, real quickly on the other ones, as you can see, Russell did take out the yearly low of 187.92. We're right at it. But all we did right now is just stretch a little bit. We'll see by tomorrow night how I would, uh, not tomorrow, Friday night, how we would look at the monthly on both the Russell and the triple Qs. Remember, if you just stretch your balance slightly and come back into it, at least in the bigger picture, you might be holding a long-term balance. Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.